Jerry built him a little canopy this morning so he don't get wet. We're expecting more rain today. So this is what we got to finish up. And then we'll start tackling this room if we've got enough. Because we'll have to kind of see how much we've got left over after we finish this. Guess what? Hardwood floors are done. Here's a view from upstairs. I absolutely love it. Completely done. So Jerry just hollered at me and said he was about done grouting and you only started like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> a little lower than that. Uh, maybe ten. But I said there's I just couldn't believe he was almost done already. Is it because of the kind of Ground I bought, or is it just no, only it, that it fast? Just, it just go pretty fast. If it's mixed up. All right. So how do you grow? Out? Okay. I'm cleaning it and just slightly dampen it so it will um, come up easier. Or if it sticks on this tile, won't cause it sticking. It just cause it spread a little bit. So the kind I bought is called Fusion Pro. It's a single component grout. <laughs> ben White. <laughs> Not even close. I guess it came pre-mixed. Pre-mixed. Yeah. No, no, no mix and don't have to put no sealer on it. Yeah, it also had a sealer. That was one thing the guy at Home Depot told me was you can buy cheaper grout. I think I paid 50 bucks for that small bucket. But Huge. Yeah, but he said if you buy the cheaper grout, which I think is like 25, and then you buy the sealer, which I think the smallest container of sealer was another 30. So he said you're just better off to just buy it all in one. All right. So that's what I did. So I've never seen it done before. So all you're doing is just wiping it back and forth, back and forth, and getting it in the Forcing it into the crack. Down. Trying to fill cracks up. And then wipe off your excess kind of a little bit. And kind of cool your cracks a little bit. Right? Fill them all up. Kind of like angle blade, angle blade, move it over. Seems pretty simple. Nothing to it. And then, so once you're done grouting, then what do you do? And you go back and kind of wipe off your excess buildup with a wet sponge. Okay. Kind of wipe you it have down. To let, you have to let that dry before you do it? Just a little bit, about four minutes or so. And then you come back with a damp sponge. And just kind of wipe it out and tool your joints. So you have to go through with a, a tool and... Well, not a tool, I... That's the tool. Oh, so you just, oh, so you just wipe it down? Yeah, any, kind of... Any excess is kind of sticking up? Yeah. Okay. And, and then you come back after this and a little bit, we'll wipe the haze off with a dry cloth. Okay. And so now we're going to get started on the bedroom. we got to move the tub. When can we move it? We gotta wait for that stuff to dry a little bit longer. No, we're ready right now. Okay, so we're gonna move the tub, clean this up. But I think we got some big boards still, some wide boards, so I think we're gonna have enough to get this completed in here. It's time to move the 200 plus pound cast iron clawfoot tub into the bathroom. We don't know how it's gonna fit. Root strength and what? Awkwardness. Awkwardness. 
Come on from the get. No, he just came out. We need to get it where you can turn on the side and put it back in. Yes, I do. You're bad news bears if somebody was in here in this tub and all of a sudden down she goes. <laughs> okay. Place flat. I'm not taking a bath. Okay. Guaranteed that. I hope. Makes me nervous now. I mean, it's on there snug. started on the bedroom floor. We've already got our first piece in. Forgot I need to cut that out. It's got a hole in it right there. I don't want that in the board. See that? Mm -hmm. Alright, put it down. Pull the trigger one time. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Last piece of flooring in the bedroom. 
We are completely done with the hardwood floors now. We are getting so close, so close. What do you think, Jerry? Not bad for a bunch of greenhorns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely the greenhorn. You, on the other hand, are a professional. Wait, a legend. <laughs> a legend. We had somebody call him a legend in our comments. Jerry definitely knows what he's doing. But, uh, so I love the color contrast in this room of having the light walls, dark floors, dark ceiling, the trim around the window is dark, and then our host in the corner. Really, really like this room. I think anybody who stays here is gonna really like this room. So now, I guess really the only thing left in this room is trim along the floor, lights up on the wall, a door, uh, outlets, plug-ins, stuff like that. And that's it. I'm just making my uh, my swords. That's cool. Yeah. Look really good. I sanded them and stuff. Cool. What are you yeah. gonna do with them? Well, I have three of them. The other one, I it couldn't come here. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give two of them to my friends and two of them to me and one of them to me. So like the next time we meet up with each other, we could uh, have a sword fight. Cool.